Amongst those representing the Nigerian community in the United Kingdom at the interactive session was the reigning world heavyweight boxing champion, Nigeria's Anthony Joshua, who made a symbolic presentation of his four bells to the Nigerian leader. <laughs> President Buhari used the opportunity to appreciate members of the diaspora community for making Nigeria proud in their various fields of endeavor, as well as significantly contributing to the nation's economy through their remittances. The president thereafter brought his guest up to speed on his administration's genuine efforts at taking Nigeria to the next level in fulfillment of pre-election promises. The closure of the nation's land borders, for instance, he said, was in furtherance of government's commitment towards securing the country and stabilizing the economy for a sustainable future. My aim of closing the border is not to punish my neighbors, but to take stock of what we need to do economically and security-wise, to stop coming drugs, to stop coming car arms, among others, to be in charge of our country. We found out the farmers were celebrating and were asking me to keep the borders closed. In fact, I, I warned the governor of Central Bank, I said, if he gave a cent to anybody importing food, me and him, we can produce what we eat and that we are doing in Nigeria, and we don't regret it. We are saving hundreds of millions of dollars, you know, for importing food. Some of it I know is fraudulent. The president also promised to sustain efforts at ensuring that the nation's assets, illegally taken away by those who do not mean well for the country, are fully recovered and effectively utilized for public good. Anybody that is caught will make sure that he is tried, no matter how long it will take. Uh, for him, and whatever belongs to the public, we get it back. Speaker after speaker at the event described President Muhammad Buhari as a God sent to Nigeria and promised every support and assistance to the nation's upward trajectory for greater tomorrow. This is one head of state or president that Nigeria will never, I must never forget. So thank you for continuing to sacrifice for a country that everybody says is done. And hopefully by the time you leave office, it will be difficult to go back to our old days. If there's anything that you guys need me for, um, I'll stand up for Nigeria, for sure. The president is doing a lot, and all Nigerians, irrespective of tribe, irrespective of religion, must unite to support this president so that he can lead us to the greatness that we all desire and deserve. What next after this kind of engagement with the president? Oh, they're all interested in investing in their country. We create a platform to make that happen. Nigerians in the UK control over a hundred, you know, million pound economy. Billions that can, you know, we need to work together. So we keep passing the message from Mr. President, let's work together to build a Nigeria of our dream. President Buhari is in London for the UK Africa Investment Summit starting on Monday. From London, Adamusambu, NTA News.